everyone likes dinosaurs, especially me, but sadly, they're extinct. I don't care if birds evolved from dinosaurs, a chicken is still a chicken. But there are still some animals out there that are as old as the dinosaurs. Today, we discuss the coelacanth, the prehistoric fish that went extinct 66 million years ago, but never actually died out. And it inspired a Pokemon. I'm History with Dino, let's dive in. Okay, so a fisherman off the coast of South Africa brought in a large and unusual fish in his bycatch in 1938. How large? Well, coelacanths can grow to over two meters long, so pretty big. He brought it to the attention of the local museum curator, Marjorie Courtney Latimer, who was immediately interested. In particular, she noted the limb-like fins, but she didn't really know what the fish was. Seeking a way to preserve it, she eventually had it taxidermied while waiting for help in identifying it. Professor Smith of Rhodes University came, and he recognized it as the coelacanth. It was given the scientific name Latimeria calumnae after Courtney Latimer. Smith became obsessed with the coelacanth. Because he had taken too long to respond to Courtney Latimer's messages, the organs and soft tissue of the fish had been discarded, so he started looking for another. When he went fishing, he used a very simple method. 1. Throw dynamite in the water. 2. Boom! 3. Make wife dive in to collect the dead fish. Yet, in 1952, he still had not found another specimen. Then came the Comoros Islands. Finally, a second specimen was found, and this one with organs intact. Unfortunately for Smith, the Comoros Islands were a French possession, and the French weren't very happy that he took the cool fish that was found there. So in 1953, all foreign scientists were banned from searching for the coelacanth in the Comoros Islands. But at least Smith got his fish. Immediately, the French started finding fish after fish, ideal for scientists looking to dissect them. But still, nobody could capture one alive. They all died soon after being brought up from the depths, despite all sorts of pressurized tanks. It took until 1987 for photos of a live coelacanth in the depths to be taken, and the video revealed something interesting about the fish. It liked to stand on its head. Now, the reason for this is proposed to be that it can detect changes in the nearby electrical field via the rostral organ, which is the name of the jelly-filled cavity in its snout. The position could help the fish detect prey. In 1997, Officially 1998, it's a bit complicated. A new discovery was made. Coelacanths in Indonesia. However, it took five more years to catch another one and prove that there was actually another population of the fish. Now for science time. Okay, so coelacanths diverged from lungfish and tetrapods approximately 390 million years ago. At one point, it was actually thought that they could be the ancestor of early four-legged land animals. But genetic research has revealed that that's not true although they would have been related to that early ancestor. Another thing, while the species was long considered a living fossil and unchanged from the time of the dinosaurs, that's not completely true. The species is still evolving, just not at a particularly rapid rate, since selective pressure on the fish is super limited. Why did we think they were extinct anyways? Well, the fish mostly live in underwater caves, only coming out at night to drift around and eat. Also, only off the coast of very specific African islands and part of Indonesia. These coelacanth caves are generally 100 meters underwater, or as deep as 500 meters. So if you want to catch a coelacanth, you have to be in the right place, at nighttime, fishing deep water. Going back to random fun facts, coelacanths have an intracranial joint. Now what does that mean? This. That's right, they can unhinge their jaw to eat a really big meal. And a final fun fact for you, 98.5% of the space in a coelacanth skull is filled with fat. The rest is its brain. Now, I'm not the best at math, but that does not sound like an ideal ratio for thinking about much of anything. So, can you eat the living dinosaur? Yes. Yes, you can. But it tastes awful. The fish are oily and slimy, the scales excrete mucus, and best of all, the fish contains high amounts of urea. So if you want that coelacanth taste, maybe just mix up some olive oil and pee. Anyway, that's all for me here today at History with Dino. Subscribe to my channel and leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you back again soon. Peace.